All right, Zach and Jack on Gonzaga Nation, SI YouTube. Uh, Rob Zachary, I'm Jack Ferris, Christian on the ones and twos. Before we get into anything basketball, Baby Watch 2023, Zachary number four. Where do we stand? Uh, it's real, boys. Okay. New chapter. Any Is day. this the last any... podcast? Any day? This Is could this be. The last podcast we have with you being a father of three? I thought you were going to say the last kid. This could be. Oh, no, I would never limit Rob. <laughs> I would never limit Rob. I would never put a ceiling on Rob's um, fertility. Fertility, uh, fertility. Yeah. Uh, how you guys doing? Well, How's your President's Day? Sorry, Rob. Any, sorry, you. anything anything more you want to share uh, while we're recording? Baby I'm ready stuff. to catch this football. I'm ready to catch this football in the end zone, boys. Okay. Okay. Again, speaking of routes, you have your route to the hospital dialed in. Are you going to go all the way down to Viz, or do you go down uh, like, what is that? Um, Nevada? Wall. I go down wall. You're a wall guy. I take I take the back route if you're coming from uh, you go uh, over, Kalispell Country Club. You go over. Go yeah, 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 yeah. Over by Monroe, over by all the way. Yeah. 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 Yes. Okay. Yes. Wow, all the way uh, over that uh, bridge too. Yeah, Country it's bridge. way faster that route oh, for me. Yeah. Look at you. I mean, I don't know. I'm a, I'm a South Hill guy. So I, all I know is the Viz. That does not surprise me. You're a South Hill guy. Um, that's okay. The, yeah, people like thumb their nose at South Hill people. That's what fine. do you mean? You got that's the opposite direction. No, 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 no. You know what I'm talking about. North Spokane people. No, I think that South, South Hill, Hill people oh, are no. like on their high horse looking down on them. That's the thing. That's what I'm trying to get at. Which is no. that's that's a <laughs> no, you can't laugh. That's a true thing. You're North, crazy. North Spokane people think that South Hill people drink tea, you know, with their pinkies out kind of thing. While, North, while North Spokane people are like real the real lilac city folk. The real five oh nine. How is that off? I don't think it's off too. I think I think there could be some bad dudes up on the South Hill. Maybe no, they have maybe their second all. home. Maybe they have a second home up in North Spokane. Kind of thing, no. you know? <laughs> no, no, no. Where does the valley sit? Oh, the valley's not even in the conversation, unfortunately. <laughs> oh, and Liberty Lake. Anything. And he, well, it's funny because once you get through Liberty, once you get through the valley, you get to Liberty Lake. It's kind of like, oh, okay, I could, I could see myself out here. Anything west of Altamont, sorry, east of Altamont, uh, and west of what is it, Thor out there? What's like the really far one? <laughs> that's um, yeah, that's that's a no stop zone for me. I don't slow down. I'm going ninety on ninety. Gotcha. Both directions. Um. Christian, anything new in your life? Are you having a kid before we get into Zach stuff? Uh, no, not yet. Do not have one. Um, and all I'm doing right now is Googling the population of Spokane to know the total number of people that that last conversation applied to. And, and it's it's hovering just under a quarter million total in the entire existence of the human race that would possibly get those jokes. <laughs> That's so, not true. If you're listening to this, you have some kind of connection to Spokane. And at one time you lived there or spent a couple of years there. Fair so enough. I think okay, I'll, I'll I think the I'll reach is further than you're half credit. Million. I'll upgrade that to a half million people. Uh, thank you for not limiting our audience. Yeah, I was going to say that's the quietest you've been for like a 45 second stretch. Well, I was in, trying in very weeks. quickly to look up these routes and do the uh, the Google Maps <laughs> of, of what they were talking about. So I could follow along. Um, what you guys do for President's Day? Debate you with my father in law about whether or not we celebrate it because it's not his president. Uh, <laughs> oh. that is not a conversation that actually happened it, i mean kind of jokingly but kind of not also jokingly you're not celebrating the current president on president's day you're celebrating all presidents i know that's why it was kind of somewhat jokingly but yeah it's also like the fakest holiday ever uh yeah, it makes no sense these kids yeah, had they had parent teacher interviews last week so these kids had five days straight you have no school yeah. Yeah. No, I've seen all my teacher friends are like off and like posting pictures. Yeah, my wife got, it's two, like ski my wife trips. got two Mondays in a row. 
that I think I actually you know what now that I'm about to complain I remember randomly in like late January early February getting two back to back long weekends but never a week in February that's ridiculous uh my there are there are some school districts out here in San Diego that do ski week which I thought that gentry tell me you're the rich part of the community without telling me you're the rich part of the community um but yeah there's school there's a like the northern half of san diego takes ski week right now currently this this week uh two of the biggest um school districts are off yeah that, that sounds uh, like North County. part of louisiana takes part of louisiana schools take off uh a week for shooting squirrel season no it's not a thing I can, understand, I can understand why like part of Idaho might take time off to harvest potatoes and part of other practical things, but part of the northern half of San Diego all agreeing that we're going to go skiing this week. Either I missed the the Mendoza line on what middle America really is or uh, um, they're not going skiing and we're all just uh, bullshitting ourselves there. Uh, I've been skiing one time in my life. How'd it go? Not good. I never went back. Rob, I it's feel not like jam. you might be a tad bit too, and I don't try to insult you on this, but you just might, th the physics might not work for you skiing and snowboarding. Yes? No? Done skiing. Uh, Not my thing, bro. You seem, more really like, not you, my you thing. seem like you probably can, can crush a good snowmobiling day, um, but not skiing. I, yeah, no, just it's... It's a workout. You're just doing wall sits all day. <laughs> you, like that's you, not appeal. That's not appealing to me at all. You you might have trouble getting on and off the ski lifts too. Like that's not conducive to a man north of seven foot. Yeah, that yeah, that's why I was it as an insult. Just the, to me, the physics. You got to be a little. You got to be like five five ten to enjoy. Sport. You got to like yeah. Oh, you got to like lift lift your feet up when you're like approaching the end of the ski lift when you got to get off and you got to like be in a crouching position to get. No, off I know exactly what you're talking about. I don't. Dude, and it's a deadly sport. Like people, more people have died of skiing than anything else. No, I'm good. Uh, no yeah, rodeo. Yeah, Sonny Bono. Right? Didn't a Kennedy die skiing too? I think Kennedy died skiing. No, they're, 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 Kennedy has the best they're assassinated. Oh, uh, can I, oh wait, can I can I make a, a an aside? And I promise I will tell this story as concisely as possible. Um, but I think that I need your judgment on is this too soon or not? Just speaking of the Kennedys. So I was at the uh, water polo championships over the weekend for the high school. And you guys know what a water polo goal looks like. Yes. Kind of floating there Correct. cage on the, on the water. They were on defense. So there's, you know, four or five girls that have the back of their heads towards the goal. Girl winds up, takes a shot, shot ricochets off the goal Hits two of the girls in the you know, it bounces off two of the girls in the head, and someone <laughs> on the table goes, "Ha! Huh, they got JFK'd." And I was <laughs> like, I turned and I'm like, I feel like that is funny, but that is Rob's face, and that is also Jack's laugh, and I didn't know if are That's JFK funny. jokes cool now. <laughs> That's funny. Comedy is tragedy plus time. Fair that enough. is definitely funny. One hundred percent. I think enough time has passed that we can laugh about uh, a JFK dying reference. Fair back enough. into the front. Back into the front. Have you guys seen our uh, JFK, the uh, Oliver Stone movie? Uh, with Kevin Costner. Yeah. No. Let it be known, I am. Uh, there was two shooters guy. Ah, yes. I'm a two the, shooters guy the, for the, sure. The, the, the male models on the grassy knoll. Yeah. yeah. Exactly right. That's Zoolander two, I believe. Right. No, that was one. That's David. That's Zoolander one. David uh, got me. Yeah. Speaking of movies, uh, just gonna say Cocaine Bear coming out. This week, have you guys seen the trailer for that? Of course, I've seen the trailer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's gonna be. We talked there. about this. I can't. Uh, there's. I can't believe this is a real story. Yeah, it's, it actually happened. Cocaine bear. Yep, bro. Yep. Um, let's talk to Zach. Jack, Michael Kennedy, the son, uh, one of RFK's kids, died December thirty first, New Year's Eve, nineteen ninety seven. They were tossing a football around and he skied into a tree going down the hill. Yep. Damn. Um, he had three kids. Very sad. Don't ski and throw footballs around, folks. Or just I don't have ski. Three kids. I'll have four. I'll yeah, have you're four. gonna have four, so you'll be safe. Yeah, I'm good. Um okay, Zach. Too soon, too soon. Oh, I just Christian, like, are you offended? No, I just no, I just like that 
uh, that Rob having four and not three kids somehow makes him safe. Disqualifies him. Yeah, just yeah, good to go. him and die and ski. <laughs> yeah, I just read you. The guy had three kids. He's good to so, go. So then we got to find out what Dickow is invulnerable to because he's probably invulnerable to most things. He may have. He's, he may he's have inevitable. I don't Inevitable. know. Yeah, he may have reproduced <laughs> himself back into the danger death ski he, zone. He overshot it. Yeah, exactly right. There's a window, <laughs> like the spoke, like the valley, and he overshot it. Now he's in ski zone oh, again. Oh, oh. Um, guys, his eyes are pretty good again, or they're trending oh, in the right direction. Uh, you don't get to hop back on. You don't get to hop back. <laughs> okay, on. you wanted to brief off skiing. No, I'm just saying. You just you don't get to go back to cl- claiming that the Zags are good and you enjoy. No, uh, You've been too uh, stressed and angry all year. Of course I can. No, oh, listen, I love, listen, I listen, love, listen, 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 listen. Listen, 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 listen. I love Gonzaga basketball. I wouldn't be doing this if I didn't love Gonzaga basketball. I have a passion for Gonzaga basketball. That doesn't disqualify me from being able to rip kids apart from time to time, right? And then and then give them a pat on the back when they're doing well. We were just in the That's... slump suit. We... Yeah. And so, okay. You win a few games in impressive manner. I'm going to be back on board. So you go to LM... ball at the end of the year kind of thing? You go to LMU and you wouldn't buy 50 points. I'm going to give you an attaboy. Give you a pat on the back. And plus, I just started looking up some stats for the first time in a while. And we are trending in the right direction statistically. Care, care for me to enlighten you guys there? Shoot. Yes, Okay, so after last four games, Zags put 99 on USF at home, put 88 on BYU at home, 108 down in uh, Los Angeles, beating LMU 108-65, as I mentioned, and just dropped 97 in Malibu on Pepperdine. Care to venture a guess where they rank scoring-wise in the nation of 393 Division One basketball teams? 12. Rob? Seven. They are number one in the nation scoring Woo! by a full three points. Zags score 87.5 points per game. Toledo in second place with 84.5. That is a sizable gap when you're looking at 393 teams. Three whole points. Um, Field goal percentage. Venture to guess where the Zags, what the Zags shoot from the floor and where that ranks. 295th. Uh, well, they rank higher than that out of 393. Or Just with Drew Timmy alone. Sorry, 352. 352 D1 teams. I'd say number one. We are number one in field goal ah, percentage. Ah, that was close. Number one in field goal percentage with 52.5%. Now, this is interesting. Zags are shooting 52.5%. There are only two other colleges that are shooting above 50% from the floor. Colgate and Wright State. Every other team is shooting below 50% from the floor. That is wild. Uh, Who wants to be called Colgate? Colgate, the toothpaste. Uh, Donald Foyle went to Colgate. What is their mascot? What is their mascot? I think like the Red Raiders. On it. Christian, Colgate, Red Raiders, I think. Something. Um, So I mentioned the three. That's the Raiders. The Raiders. I mentioned 352 teams, Division One. St. Peter's ranks 351st with uh, Peacocks. 30, the Peacocks at 37.8%. That means 350 schools are between 50% and 39%. Only three teams are north of that, north of the 50% mark. Zags, Colgate, Red State. That's wild. Defense. Let's come back to Earth a little bit. Zags give up 74.2 points per game out of 352. Where does that rank? 25th. No. Babo. 10. Three, uh, 300, or sorry, 290th. Oh, we were close. 290th in terms of scoring defense. Uh, turnover ratio drastically improving. We are plus 3.2 per game. That's good enough for 30th in the nation. So to fill time, Christian, the last couple of years when the Zags were like losing one game a season, we would go through these stats and be dominant. And I've just given up on that this year because we were like middle of the pack in a lot of things. 
That's why I was criticizing you initially for coming back in because you literally had just admitted that you gave up. So, but no, okay, I like it. You're back. You're saying, oh yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Offense has made a more full recovery than your crypto account this year. Hundred percent. I don't know. Well, I was no, uh, no, no, no. You got you got to ask Jack one real question. What do you got, Julian Strother? Uh he had some big moments in the last week. Credit to him. Let's see. I mean, he he is fortunate enough that his success and the team's success is affording him another chance to prove me wrong on a big stage. This I, like uh, I didn't I didn't I didn't think it was going to happen for the rest of the regular season. St. Mary's lost to LMU. Gonzaga's dominance the last couple of weeks has um, you know resulted in this college game day showcase on Saturday. Both teams can win on Thursday. It's going to be the game of the year for the title. Uh, and if he shows out and has a big game, it, it puts a lot of deodorant on his stink games earlier this season. Right? So Fair answer. Fair answer. I think now he needs to solidify up by being our second leading scorer, like you said. He yeah. needs to, like, that, that needs to be, like, he has to be our next guy every night. So it's interesting, Rob. Anyone who was watching that LMU game, um, it it looked like Julian was a killer, like the guy we thought he could be. Sorry, not LMU, Pepperdine. Uh, we were like neck and neck all the way through the first half, and then towards the end of the first half, he like gets a steal, almost completes a four-point play, missed the free throw, but um, who's counting? He had 28 really loud points, but to your point, Rob, Drew led the team with 34. 34, like, put your hard hat on, down in the post points. Um, so, you know, that was the recipe I thought we were going to have coming into the season. Actually, to be honest, I thought Malachi Smith was going to be like player of the year candidate for us. Um, I still love Malachi, but uh, yeah. He'd be our Marquise Carter. He'd be our Marquise Carter. Mark, yeah, like Malachi Smith could go and win the WCC tournament player of the year, and I wouldn't be terribly shocked. We'd have precedent for that because Marquise Carter out of nowhere won it that one year. Remember that? Were you still on the Dude. team for that? 2011. That was my. We graduated together, or we left together. Did you? Yeah, yeah. He randomly won WCC Most Outstanding Player one year, the tournament. Yeah, he played phenomenal. He it was all those free. I think he hit like twelve free throws in a row or something crazy. Mm -hmm. Just mm -hmm. had that methodical game. So yeah, if look if if on um, the Julian storyline, he has another chance in this regular season to with the, with kind of the eyes in the nation, as many eyes are watching the WCC regular season finale uh, with college game day there to uh, redeem himself and kind of build up his NBA stock. And I'm excited to see it. Good for him. Now, obviously what happens on Saturday is going to pale to comparison to his ultimate performance in the tournament that, I mean, look, let's not kid ourselves. This sports it is built around what teams do in late March. Okay. Like the end of the regular season, if the Zags win its share of the WCC title, that's great. We'll cut down the nets. Very exciting. But it doesn't mean anything if we're bounced in the second round. Um, so this is a big deal. It's, it's 10% of what a big second round matchup versus like a UConn could mean uh, in, in a five, four game in late March. Um, that's what I got on Julian. Anything else? No, he's in, he, he really is the key. I think for us to be successful, we know what we're going to get out of Drew each and every night. Like you said, he's going to be our leading scorer, but honestly, to be that next guy, it is crucial that we have Julian be a high scorer every, every single night. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. So we shall see. I'm very excited. Um, I'm going to be watching with uh, seven o'clock on a Saturday night. Fortunately, I don't do anything, so that's perfect for me. Eight o'clock Thursday night against San Diego is a tough one. These 8 p.m. tip offs are brutal, insane. Some brutal. of us have lives, I don't know how to do it, man. Now, and that's the thing to... like, I'll either I will either watch that game and fall start falling asleep in the second half or. I will watch it and then I'm wired and I'm up till like midnight watching like YouTube videos. You know what I mean? There's no in between. 
Oh, YouTube. Damn you, YouTube. Damn you and your algorithms. Uh, I know. It's they, they know me so well. They know me too well. Oh, uh, Rob like is wearing him. a LA Lakers shirt. Any thoughts on back? any thoughts on the, on the National uh, Basketball what? Association, Rob? Dude, All Star Game whack. I really they need to do some. It's so bad, bro. It's so bad. Like, yeah, did no, you guys I, even watch it? No, I haven't watched. I, I, I haven't watched in a while. My my blow it all up and reconstruct it is either you got to make it an insane amount of money on the line to make those guys actually really care and be like winning team gets 10 million bucks or something like that. Or you got to just completely get rid of the, it meaning anything and turn it into like a pro-am exhibition weekend of just like. They play harder in pro. They play harder in pickup. That's what I'm they thinking. Do like, in- and I think that that's because there's actually like pride and money and probably all those guys obsessively, I would assume in the off season gamble in some way, shape and form, even if it's just in bragging rights type. I don't know. I just feel like there's nothing. No, on the- I, I think I've been saying they need to do like the major leagues. I know they didn't work in the major leagues, but whoever wins gets home court advantage. Home, field, home court. Yeah. Deal. Um, has, have you had any contact with Rui since he went, went to, to LA? Yeah. No, I have not. Do you, have, I, do you and Rui have a relationship? I'm not saying not to say that if you don't, it's bad, but you know what I mean. Like no, no, no. Hard. We just like he actually um, he, we hung out a couple times when I was just in between the Pelicans and going over to Japan. Oh, okay. So I was actually playing and working out at GU at that point in time. Mm-hmm. So we kind of just crossed paths there, and um, I think for Christmas he stayed at my or had had dinner at my place, but. You know, other than that, really, we haven't stayed much in touch. He's a great guy, man. He's a he's famous in Japan. He's a legend now. Yeah. Um, it's funny. I uh, I just googled Rui Hachimura girlfriend because I was just wondering if he was settling into LA nicely. Um, looks like he is. Do you, you have always you guys... are. You uh, always are. Brianna Delgado seems like a nice lady. Uh, she's got 300,000 Instagram followers. Nothing about Rui on here, though. Um, it's just some gossip site. <laughs> to put me I'm here. out. I'm Why are you out? out? Why are I'm you out? Get, I'm not getting into nobody's personal business. I'm just looking. Listen, not, this, this is, is all Mello's ex girlfriend. That's funny. Is that? Is that what I'm, <laughs> I'm out? Is that, wait, whoa, 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 Christian, that's Mello's ex girlfriend. Yep. Oh wow. Okay. Wait, so well that, that ties it into to I I don't know what, but um Rui Hachimura has a girlfriend named Wait, does this Golly, this is terrible. This is none of our business. This is far from Her basketball. ex was also NBA ex player in Lamella Ball. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, okay. Did you download that? Did you Google that? Um, I think she has ties with Travis Kelsey too. You see, he's hosting SNL. Travis Kelsey is. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be great. It's going to be absolute dog doo doo. Oh, no, I, no. are you? SNL is terrible. SNL I'm is not, terrible. Though. I'm not an SNL guy either. I haven't been in quite some time. If there's I, something, I, if there's something really good, I'll find out about it on social media. I'm like, yeah, I was going to say, day. my consumption of SNL is down to whenever a TikTok goes viral. With yeah, and usually at this point. The best stuff is the pre-produced stuff, like the music videos. You know what I mean? Like, and like once, once every six months they'll have like a banger that's hilarious. Um, well, no, congratulations, to Rui. SNL's terrible now. It's going on and off the court. Um, I should. I mean, I guess since I host the Gonzaga podcast and everything, I should probably give Brianna Delgado a follow on Instagram, huh? Just to keep on top of things. Sure. You guys think that's fair? <laughs> How, what if you're that one that makes you like an extra thousand or million then, dollars? Then like, credit to me, Jack, um, you, Jack. You can entirely cover that beat for us as a show. You can. We get don't a weekly, uh, Brianna Delgado update. We don't have. No, that ain't my business. We don't have any mutual. Christian, f- don't put fuel on that fire. We don't have any mutual friends in common. Shock. That's. That's. <laughs> that's. Well, I would think. Because I fall, there's a lot of guys in the Zags media 
who would probably want this scoop as 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 badly as we do, and yeah. they don't follow yet. So maybe I'll wait. You don't want to be the first one of the group to follow. Is that a that's a that's a journalism rule. thing? Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> um. All right, boys. Been a weird one. It has been a weird one. A lot of Zag talk. A lot of Zag. My I, internet I, has been terrible out here. Has it? <laughs> Have Rob's we been, been skipping off. on you? Rob's probably heard a third of the show. Have we been skipping on you? You've been, <laughs> you've been great. You've been perfect. Have I? Yeah. Oh, I'm surprised. It's been like terrible. Oh, really? My little bar and everything. So I've been just trying to keep in. Cool. Um, a buddy, a buddy texted me. He wants since Julian's had this newfound success and turn the season around. He wants a new um, bet. So that's you, something to consider. Want? I don't know if it can be St. Mary's coming up here. Um, another ear piercing proposal. But shave your head. No, I can't. I'm not, I can't. No, I, if he I'm gets ready. more than 20, shave your more head. More than 20? He better get more than 20. That's a low bar. He had 28 no, last game. All right, 20. All right. So he doesn't. Do, how many times St. Mary's, too. St. Mary's, too. Yeah. Um, what did he shoot last time against St. Mary's? One I, I, don't th- I don't think he broke double digits. Yeah. Um. Okay. Well, let's. Oh, we'll, we'll talk about. about we'll, he's thinking about it. No, I don't know if it's going to be shaving my head, but I'll do something. I'll do something wild and crazy. Can you, like, a neck tattoo? Oh, geez, God, that was very. <laughs> I was going to say, can you run the Golden Gate Bridge in a jersey of his or something like that, uh, with a sign that says "I love Julian Strother," um, uh, or or do something public shaming like that instead of having to submit you to a, a head shaving or a neck tattoo? But deal, <laughs> dude. I was about to get my ear pierced, and I would have gladly done it. Um, and I like the visual of you running up and down uh, Coit Tower with a sign that says. Julian Strother is my daddy. That's good San Francisco knowledge, according to Tower. Um, yeah, maybe I'll um, – maybe we'll save it for the WCC uh, tournament because everyone, like Joe Lenardi and, all, and like the CBS guy and the Fox guy, they all have um, St. Mary's as the automatic qualifier, meaning they don't think that we're going to win the, the tournament in Vegas. So hmm. – Sounds like we're the underdogs, I guess. I don't know. We'll have to see. Um, happy President's Day, guys. My favorite president America. is Miller. My favorite president is Millard Fillmore. Cool. Jeez. Yep. Full My stop. Head. I don't really know which one I, I I I have none. I really have no president I like. Jefferson. No. Jefferson. I think wasn't Jefferson behind no. the Louisiana Purchase. Was he? He was buying the Louisiana Purchase, but uh, kind of a checkered history with his offspring, though, huh? Yeah, that's where I, you lost me. Maybe <laughs> I, 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 you can't use a lot of their the the old timers. You can't really throw out there. You really can't. Grant. I'm, I mean, maybe I'm, Grant. Like Woodrow Wilson was like a card carrying member of the KKK. Like not that dramatic, yeah, but no, Woodrow Wilson was not a Woodrow Wilson was not a good guy. Uh, um, okay, just... that's a good that's a good way to wrap things up here. I'll go with JFK. How about? Hey, back Ooh, in the time. good <laughs> call. The lady to the, the left. left. I'll tie the sh- <laughs> I like that one. Back into the left. Yep. I uh, like that one. Good call. The lady in the man. old noggin on that one. All right. He's the you. Val Venus of presidents. Oh. All right, I gotta go. <laughs> Congratulations to Rob on uh, being on the one yard line. Thank you to Christian on the ones and twos. Thank you guys for watching and listening. Like, subscribe, and all that stuff.